today I'm going to be doing my May Ipsy bag unbagging. This is my third month that I've been subscribed to Ipsy and the first two months had pretty good stuff. I know a couple of the things that are going to be in this month's bag because it does get emailed to me and I am dumb enough to open the email every month. Most of you know what Ipsy is. It's just a $10 a month subscription bag that comes with four to five things. I've gotten five every month that I've done it but um some people, I guess, get four. They try to include one to two full-size things, and then the rest is just samples. But I've had pretty good stuff for the last couple of months, so I'm pretty excited to see what I got in this month's bag. The back of the bag is just that shiny pink color, and then the front is just the address label, and the actual things are inside of the bag. So once you open up the bag, if you pull out the contents, you have the card. And this month's theme was Jet Setter. I usually just discard these, they don't really mean anything. So this is the bag this month, and it says contents, my life, breakups to makeup. And I think this is so cute. I love it. It's probably the, my favorite bag that I've gotten. The first thing that I pull out from the inside of the bag is the Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. And this is a sample size. And I'm not sure what this does. You apply it to your clean towel-dried hair and style as desired. And it can be used as a finisher on dry hair. So I'm kind of excited to try this out. The next thing that I see in this bag is this Urban Decay, if I can get it out, it's like wedged in there. This is the Urban Decay Revolution High Color Lip Gloss, and it comes with this lip liner. Um, and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Ozone, and it's just like, I know it's just like a white color, but I heard that it's actually clear. Yeah, it's really just like clear. There's really nothing to it, um, so I'm guessing this is just to sort of prime your lips before you put on your lip glosses and it came with two lip glosses and I was really hoping that I was going to get this one because I don't have anything really fun colored like this. So this one is called Bittersweet and then the other one is called Fail Bait. The next thing in the bag is this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in the color Ebony. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. I I don't know. And this is a gel eyeliner so this is interesting. I feel like mine broke off in here. Um, because it's like flat. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. It's very, very smooth and it's pretty much black. I think it's maybe like slightly lighter than black, like a charcoal gray or something. But it is very smooth and it would work really well on my tight line because when I go to school or when I go anywhere, I usually only wear a tight line eyeliner anyway. So this will probably be a decent color. So the next thing that I see in here is the... Peter Lamaz Naturals Detoxifying Citrusy Facial Cleanser for All Skin Types. You put it on your damp skin and then you massage it on your face and I, then you rinse it with warm water. So um, for best results, um, alternate with Peter Lamaz Exfoliating Pumpkin Facial Scrub. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit optimistic about this. It's a pretty decent sized sample. I wouldn't say it's too small. Sometimes they give you like a little like foil packets of things and this is something good to use because you can actually know if it works or not you don't have to just use it once and like see an instant difference so I'm excited to try that out as well so then the last thing in the bag is this pixie by Petra um, this is a bronzer in the color summertime and it's really pretty it's kind of shimmery so I'm not sure how I feel about that yet but I'll open it if I can get it open. Okay, so I got it open and it's like a, it's a full, I believe it's a full size. I'm not really sure. Um, I've seen the brand Pixie by Petra at Target, so I know that it's not some kind of like off the wall type of thing. It's in stores, I guess. So I've never seen this bronzer before, so it's really, really smooth and it's really shimmery. It kind of looks like more of a highlighter rather than a bronzer. Um, but it it is darker than my skin just slightly, so I might actually use this as a highlighter. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but it just looks like this, and you can see me filming. It's super cool, and yeah. So that is everything that was in my May Ipsy bag. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a 
thumbs up and if you like my channel be sure to subscribe and comment down below what your favorite subscription bag is if you are subscribed to a subscription bag or comment down below some videos that you guys want me to do and I will check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.